Radiologic is radio playout software which comes in two applications, Radiologic DJ and Radiologic Scheduler. Both are fully demoable, free to try as long as you like without any expiration. Radiologic works well for those who want a fully autonomous station and or live operation. Let's start with an overview of Radiologic DJ. DJ is the radio playout piece. The main content is in the program queue, the tab we're on right now, which shows you which tracks are upcoming in this list, along with their start and end times. At the very bottom, we show remaining program time, to what time the program queue takes us, almost exactly nine o'clock, and how close to the top of the hour we are, either over by some amount or under by some amount. You can add tracks in a variety of ways by just dragging them into the queue from the finder, from iTunes, We'll do that real fast. I'll take this track here, drag to the DJ icon, gets added to the bottom of the queue. I'll remove it for now. Let's say I want to put it in position two in the queue. I can actually drag right to position two in the queue, and there it is. I'll delete that again. You can bring tracks in from playlists. These, uh, this menu here will actually bring in the entire playlist into the program queue. If I hit the iTunes playlist button here, or we can go over to DJ's library where we can import uh, either the entire iTunes library or we can select to import, oh, maybe by a keyword that selects genres or just a playlist where we have a subset of tracks we want to bring in for a particular day part or genre. So here I've selected Trans 600, which has just under 600 tracks. We'll import from iTunes and there's our list of tracks. You can sort by different things here. We're sorted by length at the moment. We could sort by ramp, which is the amount of time you can talk into the track. Uh, sort by artist, or we can start doing a search. Uh, let's search for Lost. We have two tracks by that name. So I could program this track to the top of the queue and make it the next song, let's say if it's a request, or I could just send it to the bottom. We've got a program top and a program bottom button here. The P key uh, is currently set in the preferences to also do the same thing. So if I did P right now, this track would go to the bottom of the queue, but just to demonstrate, I'm going to do a shift P, which will put this track, Lost Language, at the top of the queue. And bam, there it is. Cancel the search here. Now beyond that, you can also go into I, uh, iTunes and actually send tracks to DJ, but first, you would install the iTunes scripts here. Once these scripts are installed, you should appear in a scripts menu in iTunes. And now we can take this track and we can add it to the bottom or the top of DJ's queue. Let's just add it to the bottom here. And there it is. And that way you can do all your searching in iTunes itself and send the tracks right over. So within the program queue here, you can move tracks around just by taking them and dragging them to new positions. You can take more than one track at a time and, and move them around. You can duplicate them. You can remove them. Uh, there are buttons to uh, automatically take a track and send it directly to the top or directly to the bottom. Now, there are a couple modes uh, to DJ. There's auto on and there's auto off. So with auto on, each track fires automatically one after another at predetermined times, uh, which are actually set in the files in most cases. Uh, most files are track prepped to have an actual overlap time for the best segue, which is done in another program scheduler, which we'll talk about later. With auto off, we have to fire each track at a predetermined time we want to fire them. And there's a middle mode for this as well, where you can actually have auto off and in this actions column, if you hit the button here, uh, these little bullets here, you can make some of these automatically fire and the others you would have to manually fire yourself. You might find that useful for live assist. But let me put auto back on right now because we're actually coming close to the end of this track here. And then we'll actually see what that transition sounds like. At the same time, I want to point out, I actually have duck on, which is the duck button right here, which is also mapped to the M key. Let's bring Duck off and we can listen to this transition and then I'll talk a little more about a couple more things.
Okay, so there was a transition. Now, there's a lot of control over the players here as well. Uh, you can control the volume of the players using your mouse wheel. Um, you can select uh, to control volume on only one of these. Uh, uh, by clicking on it, you get a blue border around it, and you can control the volume of just that. I'm going to bring it back down to the, the duck volume that we had there. And if you have a MIDI surface, uh, you can control quite a few functions in DJ with a MIDI surface, including the volume controls, auto on and off, uh, uh, several things. We also have a palette. Uh, this would be used for uh, playing uh, station imagery. Um, and uh, let's take uh, some station imagery. I have some in a playlist over here. Let me just select all of these. And I'll drag these over the first button and it will load up all of these into the different buttons here. Now one other thing you probably noticed, wow, all these have colors now too. Yes, they are using the colors of the tags or labels in the finder. And if you right click you can actually change those and they'll actually change the tracks themselves. You can actually show one of these in the finder. And we can see the selected track here is indeed blue. And if I were to change this to purple uh, and then show it in the finder, we'll see it's purple there. And this works all over. This works in the program queue, all the lists. So for this, I'm actually going to demonstrate what you can do with the palette. Um, you can manually use it to fire things. You can uh, program a MIDI surface to hit all of these different buttons. Uh, or you can just hit the number of keys. So I'm going to take Duck off, and uh, when you hit one of these, it will play whatever this is. And if I have the Duck on here, on the palette, it'll duck the main players while playing this and then bring the Duck back off. But let me take the, this Duck off right now, and we'll see how it goes. All trance, all day, all night, you're listening to Radiologic Trance. Okay, so what's kind of neat about that is that you could actually have uh, a set of these buttons actually go through and uh, do station imaging on your tracks. Let's say if you have a, an hour-long mix and you want to put your own station imaging on it, uh, you could actually go in the preferences, in the general, and you could say to play logos using track properties. Uh, let's say if the tracks, uh, by a rule that the tracks are over 30 minutes, do them every eight minutes and then say to use a particular uh, uh, palette set. Right now I'm, I have the main set here. And what it will do is every eight minutes it will play the first one, then it will play the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one, and go all the way around uh, forever like that, imaging uh, the tracks you have there. So, so that's a basic overview of uh, some of the major features in DJ. In the next video I'll go over some of the major features in Scheduler. And then after that, we'll do tutorial videos uh, that get far more in depth because there's quite a bit to cover uh, for both DJ and scheduler. Catch you in the next video.